I'm Kristen Zambo, Marketing and Communications Coordinator for the Batavia Park District. Welcome to the Park Bench. Today we're coming to you from beautiful Shannon Hall. The holidays are such a popular time of year for couples to become engaged that this period from Thanksgiving through New Year's and Valentine's Day probably should be called engagement season. After all, what could be better present than declaring your eternal love? If the love of your life just popped the question, now it's time to say yes to Shannon Hall as you plan your wedding. Couples may say I do beneath a breathtaking vaulted ceiling that's truly a showstopper. This historic building features gorgeous stained glass windows throughout the banquet space, which seats up to 200 guests, guests comfortably. Shannon Hall was the former home of Holy Cross Church and was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1999, marking the building as an historic structure. At the time when the church was being built in the late 1890s, the country was going through a depression. The limestone used to construct the building was donated by James Shannon, a local quarry owner. That's how Shannon Hall earned its name. To schedule a tour and check date and time availability, contact Recreation Supervisor Michelle Williams at 630-406-5282 or Michelle with one L, W, at BataviaParks.org. For a 360 degree insiders tour from the comfort of your home, go to BataviaParks.org backslash Shannon hyphen Hall. Despite these cold temperatures, there are a host of opportunities to get physical or stay active in January. Bundle up before going ice skating at Depot Pond. If surface conditions are right and there are at least eight inches of ice, you'll spot green flags by the Depot and Peg Bond Center along the Riverwalk. When red flags are raised, ice skating is prohibited. You may check BataviaParks.org for updates on safety conditions. Peg Bond Center will be open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. as an unsupervised warming house for skaters. More than a dozen Shotokan karate classes begin this month for participants ages four and older. Classes are offered on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays through March at the Civic Center and in Geneva and St. Charles. Both kindergarten and first and second grade basketball leagues begin this month for children ages five through seven. These developmental leagues focus on building skills and last one hour each week. Regardless of skill level, your children will benefit and grow in their abilities. A men's basketball league is new this winter. Games will be played on Thursday evenings beginning on January 13th at the Civic Center. Register your team at bataviaparks.org backslash athletics. If you're looking for a team to join, contact Recreation Supervisor Nathaniel Yaros at nathanielj at bataviaparks.org. All players must be at least 18 years old by January 13th. Pickleball is an extremely popular event at the Park District year round. But did you know we can set you up with private pickleball lessons to further hone your skills? Our instructor, Ken Harris, is a USA Pickleball Association national champion and super senior world pickleball champion. He'll tailor lessons to fit your skill level and lessons can be structured for a single person, two players or groups. Email Nathaniel for more information and to schedule lessons. Let's pivot from athletics to history now. At Batavia Depot Museum, our volunteers mean the world to us. Many volunteers and members of the Batavia Historical Society and have a passion for and dedication to preserving and sharing Batavia's history. If you're not a member, but are fascinated by the people, places, and industries that helped shape the Batavia area we enjoy today, we'd love to chat with you. A museum volunteer open house is scheduled for 2 to 4 p.m. on Saturday, January 15th at Batavia Depot Museum, 155 Houston Street. If you are new to Batavia or would like to explore a new volunteer opportunity, stop by to chat with volunteers and museum staff and to peek behind the scenes. 
you can help make your community's history come alive and maybe inspire others to investigate their families and home's origins. During these blustery January days, our museum staff and volunteers are gearing up for our next two exhibits, which open in March. Refraction, Finding Identity, delves into the changing norms of identity and celebrates the stories of Batavians who have forged their own paths throughout our history. Do you know if it was great grandfather or his sister wearing that beautiful gown in the family portrait as a young child? Which first lady cemented the idea of pink for girls and blue for boys? You'll uncover those answers and learn so much more. Our second exhibit is Inspiring Expression. This exhibit demonstrates how Batavians of all skill levels, from the prehistoric period to the present day, have used visual arts to express themselves and their view of the world. Visitors have a unique opportunity to look inside the museum's vast collection of rarely seen visual artworks, which were created and treasured by Batavians. I'll be back next month to talk about what we have in store for you in February. One hint, Daddy Daughter Date Night is February 4th and February 5th at Rotolo Middle School. You might want to sign up now at bataviaparks.org backslash special hyphen events. These magical nights are sure to fill up quickly. Make sure to stay up to date on Park District News by following us on social media and checking our website often. Thank you for joining us and I hope you have a fun-filled month.